For those who need to periodically multiply the individual cells of two ranges, or arrays together, and then sum the results, consider using Excel's sum product function. Sum product multiplies corresponding values in multiple arrays and returns the sum of those products. While some advanced Excel users know that the functionality of sum product can be replicated by using an array formula, many users have little desire to learn about array formulas and, therefore, sum product can prove to be an attractive alternative. For example, some products functionality may be useful during the budgeting process when there is often a need to multiply a table of quantities times a table of cost or prices and then sum the results. Suppose, for instance, that the CFO of a company is preparing a gross revenue estimate for the coming year as part of the annual budgeting process. Departmental managers have prepared estimates of the number of billable hours to be generated by each consultant along with their anticipated billing rates, given the nature of their expected assignments. The CFO can then use some product to quickly create the revenue estimate as shown on the screen. Note that the table arrays being fed into the sum product function must have the same dimensions. That is, they must be symmetrical and have the same number of rows and the same number of columns. Otherwise, sum product will return a value error. Additionally, if non-numeric entries are part of the arrays, sum product will treat them as if they were zeros. The next time you need to multiply the individual cells of anywhere from 2 to 255 symmetrical ranges or arrays together and then add those results, remember that there is no need to build a series of individual formulas and then add the results. Simply use Excel's sum product function to do the heavy lifting for you. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.